I'm squeezing in, in between my other jobs, a really fun project for a friend. And um, I'm excited about it because it represents, and this is the essence of the feeling, is love and unity and family and just really honoring and accepting family and choosing to celebrate that. So with big, big love. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. Today, so I'm going to be whipping out two pieces. I'm going to um, pull a bronze heart, uh, about four and a half inches by five inches, and nice rounded, yummy. So we've got some really good. Um, good depth and full love in it. And then we're going to string a heart for each one of the family members across the bottom, nine and a half piece by three-ish. So um, we're gonna string that together. I'm gonna put some, some nails on the back and just pop it straight into the wall so you don't see any type of attachment. So that's what we're gonna rock out. Here we go. <laughs> Trick with design, when you're patterning, is to a couple things my friend patty taught me this but if you scrunch your eyes together and you look through your lashes at your lines it helps you with both color and whether or not it looks right try it just saying try it <laughs> maybe we could do that with people too if you meet somebody new to like measure them up and like look through <laughs> I don't know. i'll try it though <laughs> So, and then the other most really important thing is to take the, the shape that you have and hold it up and look at the reverse image in the mirror. So um, by doing that, I can already see all the flaws I have in, in, in it. So I'm gonna fix that right now. And in this case, because these are just cutouts, um, just to double check my design to the very end, all I have to do is turn them upside down and lay them in, and yes is what I say to that. <laughs> Once the design is transferred, then we move over to plasma cutting. The largest shapes are cut out first, and then I cut out many, many different hearts in order to stack them. Over the years, I found it easiest to cut out all the different size shape hearts, stack them, melt the edges, get them all tacked into where they're located, and then go back in and add the recycled bronze in order to create the full shape. So you can see the stack here and I'm just going in and melting all the edges together and then I'm beginning to add the recycled material in order to make the full shape and this is really the fun because you're taking this big clunky material that would normally be waste because it can't be used for anything else and adding it in to really establish the form into where it feels just yummy. And now that the main form is done, we head on over to the grinder where I just work off the edges in any weird points that happen and smoothing out the backs because it is going to be laying flat on the wall. 
here you can see a small area that bubbled up and over. I just want to clean that up and smooth it out. Tip of the day, tip of the day is sandpaper. We're creating a level on the bottom of a piece, and especially if it's wide like this, uh, we need to figure out how to do that. So you place the sandpaper down on the tabletop, and then the sculpture on top of that, and then give a rub. And that's what you come up with. So that's my high spot. I, so I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna do two things. My choice, on this is I'm gonna build the edge flat because I want this to be flat here and I don't want additive because I'm gonna write on here. So the other thing to do is to just grind this center part down. So very easy solution both ways. Um, I am choosing the one I am choosing because I'm after a specific look on the edge and I don't quite have it, but with that filling in, I'll get it. I am just using regular old nails that I just snip the tips off to the length that I'm happy with and off we go. The easiest way to clean off this big goopy type of bronze fabrication is to use the wire wheel. It just makes it super simple and very, very shiny. Sometimes with the silicone bronze, there's a little leftover silicone, so I just hammer that, break it all off, and finish the final polish. And then back to the weld table we go where we add the nails onto the piece and moving into the final polish. What fun projects these were. Really, really nice. So here we go. Look at that. So fun. And the, the pokies to go into the wall. A little double stick tape. You won't even know. That one. And there we go. <laughs> so fun. Oh. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys are doing something different so that new opportunities come into your life. And most of all, I am hoping for you that you're doing something fun because that's the pathway of the divine. Stargard Art out. brand new eraser which is really fun these are my favorite erasers <laughs> I enjoy them a ton and um, I just really love how clean they they erase and uh, it's just super fun so here we go